I'm, I'm not sure if that's wholly true. <laughs> I mean, I, I think over the past few years, there definitely have been documentaries over the past decade, right, that are about race or that are about class or that are about the growing wealth gap. Now, whether or not those pieces of material got traction, right, and have seen a really big audience as much as the food documentaries, you know, clearly not, but that doesn't mean that they don't exist. I, I think that that's, I would challenge that a little bit. I think I interrupted well, you. I love this conversation. This is like one of my <laughs> favorite, this is one of my favorite things to talk about. And I, I've, we've had this discussion so much internally and in my own head a lot. Uh, <laughs> Because I think you bring a really good point, this idea, which I, this theme of art and story as opposed to telling, giving a message. And I, I think there is a, a loophole. I, in my mind, filmmaking is one of the most powerful ways to impact people because when it works and, and people are touched by it, Moonlight is an example, that has been, in my mind, one of the most beautiful depictions of, of gay love ever in, in filmmaking that's been widely accepted as a story first and the message you know I think is, is acceptance of people and of races and and how beautiful it all is that for me is, is a perfect example <clears throat> of a metaphor for this way of telling stories but still being able to have a message